I'm Tammy the Tutor, and today we'll be covering section two, whoops, <laughs> two of intersections. Now, this one that we're covering is actually four or more lanes, okay? Last time we did two lane intersections. This time we're doing four or more with one or more turn lanes, okay? We're going to discuss exactly how you turn and how to know if you have your own turn light or if you um, are sharing with the lanes that are going straight. So here we go. I've got my little drawing here of the intersection. It's a big intersection, okay? All right, let's see here. So you're going to be, let's say you're a little purple car, all right? and you are sitting right here, okay? Now, ooh, that's kind of hard to see, isn't it? A little C there for your car. <laughs> I think with you guys that may be backwards. All right, let's say you come up to the intersection. These lanes are all going that way. These lanes are coming this direction. I've got little arrows down at the bottom to kind of help keep it straight, all right? This, these lanes here are going that direction. These two lanes here are going this direction, okay? All right, let's say you're sitting here and you are wanting to make a right-hand turn, all right? Now, if there is no sign on the red light stating that there is no turn on red, okay? Once your delay is clear, you can make your right-hand turn, all right? Now, if you're turning to the right, there's two lanes here. How do you know which lane that you are to turn into? Real simple rule. Turn into the lane that is closest to you, okay? So if you're here, you can turn this direction, okay? This is the lane that you would be turning into. All right, because people from this direction, if this person here is also wanting to turn this direction, then they also would come across and turn into the lane closest to them. All right, the problem comes in when this person here decides, I want to turn in there, okay, which happens frequently. And this person here says, I want to turn into this lane here. Well, then you get crisscrossed and looky there, you end up with an accident, okay? That's bad, you don't want accidents, okay? So real simple, when you're turning, you turn into the lane that is the closest to you. Okay, now if you're needing to change lanes, you're needing to go from this lane to this lane, all right, you have to what's called establish yourself in this lane first, okay? It lets everybody know that it's safe. This one can turn this way, this can turn this way. You put on your turn signal. It's a really cool little device on the side of your steering wheel. Once you get established, you turn on your turn signal so that everyone around knows what your intentions are. And then once the way is clear, you proceed to move over into the other lane, okay? So now that we know which lane we actually turn into, we're going to go ahead and move on. Let's take those off there, that off there. If I can, <laughs> it doesn't want to come off. <laughs> okay, the same thing with this side. If this side is coming up, when they come across, they would turn into this lane, all right? Not that lane. This is the lane closest to them. This is the one that they turn into, okay? So let's say you're at a stoplight, all right? Now, let's say, for instance, this particular intersection, they share lights, okay? There's not a designated turning lane, 
all right? Those are usually a little bit smaller four-lane intersections for like city roads. Um, let's say you're in the left-hand lane, you're wanting to turn left, okay? Your light turns green and everybody goes that direction and all these people come this direction, okay? You may pull into the intersection and wait. You will yield there, you will wait there until this side is clear and then you'll proceed to finish your turn into the lane closest to you, all right? You can sit there. Now, if you're still sitting there when the light turns red, you need to go ahead and once, as soon as it's clear, go ahead and turn. Because these groups of people that are going to go across, they're gonna to want to go, but they can't go while you're still sitting in the intersection because you're blocking the intersection and you don't want to do that. That causes for problems, okay? Now that is only if you are sharing the same red light with the people that are going straight, all right? So let's now say that you have your own turn lane, okay? This merges off this direction, and you have your own turn lane, all right? We're going to do some dots here. There we go. All right. But you're still, or I'm sorry, this, this part here is still connected to the road here. In other words, there is no concrete median. There is no grassy median. This is just a merge off to make the left-hand turn, all right? A lot of times with these, you're going to see lights that look something like this, all right? It's gonna come down, it's gonna have its own little thing down here, all right? There's a light there. You'll have a green light here for those going straight. Sometimes you'll have an arrow light like this for the people who are turning. You'll have your yellow light in the center here, if you can see that and a red light here, okay? Um, a lot of times they'll have it like this so that you know that you can go ahead and turn. What that's saying is that this part of the road has the right to move forward. These people go straight, these people turn into the lane closest to you, everyone else is stopped, okay? Now, in this situation, when this goes out, okay, but it's still, this, like I said, this is connected, you may still continue to pull into the center and hold here. These cars are all gonna flow by, okay? And when the way is clear, you may then complete your turn into, yes, the left-hand lane, the lane closest to you, okay? Now, we're gonna make this a little bit more complicated. Now, what we just discussed was the turn lane is still connected to the road, the lanes that go straight, all right? Well, what happens if they're not? All right, let's back back up here. And let's say this comes straight forward and then you have a concrete median, okay, right here. There's a concrete barrier or there's a grassy median, all right? In this case, you're, you're not going to have a light like this, all right? In most of the cases such as this, the turn lane will now have its very own turn signal that you have to abide by, okay? Which means this light, you'll have your green, yellow, and red. If your light turns red, you cannot pull out into the median. I'm sorry, in, I'm sorry, my bad. Into the intersection 
and wait for the lanes to clear and then make your left hand turn. You can't do that. Once you have a concrete barrier between the turn lane and the lanes going straight, the turn lane becomes its very own entity with its very own light, all right? Now, whether there's a sign hanging from the red light that says no turn on wet red or not, you still can't turn unless your light is green, okay? It has its own. So these people will follow their light. These people will follow their light. The turn lane, designated turn lane, will follow its own light, okay? All right. And it does not matter if this is concrete or if this is a grassy median. It makes no difference. You'll follow its own light, all right? So... Let's see what happens if these are connected and there is two turn lanes, okay? You come up and you have these two lanes go straight, these two lanes, now there's no grassy median and there's no concrete barrier, but there are two turn lanes. Okay, this follows the rule of if there's a grassy median or a concrete median. These two turn lanes are going to have their very own light of which you follow. Okay, even though it's connected to the regular road, because there's two turn lanes or there could possibly be more, you follow the turn lane lights only. In this case, if this light turns, the turn lane lights turn red, you cannot pull into the intersection and wait for the ray to clear to turn. You can't do that, okay? You'll be running a red light. That's not good. Officers will pull you over for that. That's running a red light that's serious. That causes a major traffic issue, okay? So you don't want to do that. So we let's back up here. And let's look at this one more time. If there is not a turn lane and the sign, there's no sign on the red light that says no turn on red, then you can pull out into this intersection, wait until the ray is clear, and then turn into the lane closest to you, okay? If you have your own turn lane, there's only one turn lane, you have your own turn lane, and again, there's no sign that says no turn on red. You may pull to the intersection, wait till the way is clear, and then go ahead and turn, okay? If there is a concrete or grassy median right here, okay? If there's a concrete or grassy median, wow, you really cannot see that right here, separating the ones going straight and the ones that turn, this will have its own light. You have to follow the light that is in front of you for that specific turn lane. If it turns red, you have got to wait your turn until you can go ahead and make that turn. At this point, you cannot pull out in the intersection. You cannot do that, okay? If it is double turn lanes, okay? Even if there's not a grassy concrete median, you still, because there's one turn lane and two turn lanes, you have to treat it as though there is a concrete median or a concrete barrier these two will have their very own turn lights, all right? You have to follow those. If it's not okay to turn, you can't turn. You cannot pull out in the intersection and sit there and wait until it's time to turn because there's two lanes. The two cars can collide as they're both trying to make the turns. It's not a good plan. Don't do it, okay? All right. Turning into your lane closest to you. You're making a right-hand turn, you turn here. 
you cannot turn there, all right? You have to turn into the lane closest to you. And the reason being is because these people here are gonna want to turn into this lane. These people here turn into this lane. It helps to keep the flow of traffic going like it needs to, okay? And it keeps collisions down. Once you've established yourself in this lane, sorry, once you've established yourself in this lane, you can turn on your blinker so that everybody is aware of what your intentions are, what you need to do. And then once it's clear, you can go ahead and merge into the left-hand lane, okay? Now, if you're the person that's coming from this direction, and you guys both get here at the same time and they immediately turn their left signal on saying that they need to get over that left-hand lane, okay? If there's nobody else behind you and they're turning a little quicker than you are, let them over, okay? Don't gun it and cut them off so that they can't get over. That's just rude, don't do that, okay? Be courteous to one another let each other know what your intentions are or what needs to be done. Follow the rules of the road. Make sure you're following the correct light, okay? And follow these rules. It just keeps everybody safe and everybody happy, all right? Well, that is our just quick, brief tutoring lesson on intersections that have four or more lanes and one to two possibly three, turn lanes on whether you follow the signal for the turn lane or if it's okay to pull into the intersection. All right, so be courteous to one another, happy driving, be nice, and happy highways.